Motivational Coco, how are you today? This is something I've come up with a little while ago, and it's completely brilliant. Um, what you know, what you know is what your limitations are or what your limitation is. Because once you know something, it's a brick wall. There's no growing. You got to go around it maybe. And sometimes it's just too wide to go around. You can't go over it. It's just a stopping point. Everything you know. Now I tell people all the time, everything you know is wrong. Because I thought I knew a lot. And I do know a lot. But it keeps changing. It's, it's kind of fluid knowledge. And I always want to know what everybody else knows. And I get excited sometimes. And my, my daughter accuses me of interrupting people a lot. Well, it's because I get excited and I want to contribute. I want to share. I want to go back and forth. Because I have this kind of energy. But I know a lot of people who know stuff. They know it know it. And the problem is when you know something, that's it. I have a very, very good friend who I want to help with some health issues. But they know some stuff and I can't, and I can't work around it because it's, it's debilitatingly limiting thoughts. So I can't help them with their health because they know there's a process they have to go through to get to a certain point. And they can't do it. They can't do it. And once again, anything you can't do, you're absolutely right. If you, as soon as you decide you can't do something, you absolutely positively can't do it. I know I can help him, but he's got this, these rules, these things he knows, and because he knows them, that's... He, that, that, that's it. Boom. It's closed. Door's closed. Lights are off. Game over. Sometimes it, it, I go through, a, I've gone through all my life, I've been the one who argues. Um, my teachers used to tell me, I mean, knew, knew my button. My button was is if they told me that can't be done, you can't do that. No way. Of course, I would do it because, and, and I think they knew that. I, my, my primary professor did that to me all the time. You know, there was many, many, he, put, he would always throw obstacles in front of me. It would always make me excel. It would always make what I'm doing better, you know, faster, smarter. It doesn't matter. It was completely amazing. He got it. Other people have learned that. And it made me realize that it's all about learning and unlearning. You've got to unlearn the things you know because, you know, I don't call it, I don't say I actually know things, I have knowledge of things. But it's always, it's fluid knowledge because it's all, it's kind of like um, something sitting on a ball. Um, you know, you turn it a little bit and it falls off. Nothing's hard and fast because the more you learn, the more you realize nothing's hard and fast. You know, there's things called gravity. There's, th there's certain laws that exist. But then all of a sudden you find that, you know, they don't necessarily hold true always. You know, time, that was one of my favorite. I mean, time doesn't exist. Um, Einstein and Oppenheimer and all his buddies um, didn't use the word time. They used you know, they talked about space-time events because they couldn't, you know, mathematically or scientifically prove that time exists. So thus, if it doesn't exist, then why are we worrying about it? Uh, all things are happening at the same time, but we're only perceiving this moment, not perceiving all the other moments around us. Yeah. I did a quantum physics paper years ago about that whole premise, so that everything is happening. Start learning how to unlearn. Especially parents, especially teachers. 
We can unlearn and relearn how to do magnificent things. There's so much that is so screwed up right now, primarily because people know this is the way it has to be. It has to be this way. And there's a lot of, you know, and, and there's a lot of rules. Uh, political parties have rules. Religions have rules. You know, they have, you know, hard and fast rules that are always wrong. Always wrong. Every single time. You know, it's like you just, you know, when you start believing something because somebody tells you and not because of any proof, in fact, they can't prove, you know, you know like I said, political, religious, there's, there's others. They can't prove it, but because they tell you this is what it is, this is what it is. Learn to unlearn. Then relearn and then unlearn. But if you can keep the concept of fluid knowledge, you know, you know, maybe when you hold it this way, it's like this, but as soon as you turn it a little bit, you know, when you, when you turn that thing, oh, look, look at that, it's different. Oh, no, it's different. Oh, it's different. Oh, it's different. You know, as you, as you move around an object, it changes. And as you, as you move around a concept of a fact of something you know, you know, when you look at it from over here, it may be a little bit different than when you look at it over here. It's all points of perspective. You know, the, the fun thing is, is when you can look at something with somebody else's perspective and see, oh, wow, no, it's not like that. It's, it's like that, or it's like that, or, or maybe it's just, it, it, or you finally realize it's like that for me, but it's like that for you, and it's like that for you, and it's like that for you, and it's different for everybody. So maybe I'm wrong. No, you are wrong. So ponder that thought. Really important, unlearn what you know. Relearn daily. Never assume you know anything. Walk into a situation believing that maybe you have an idea, but you don't know. And you'll, first of all, you'll have a better time. It'll all work out better because what happens is you walk in with expectations and you get exactly what you think. Friend of mine had to go to her boyfriend's family, re not family reunion, um, her, her, the family has a business and she went to the um, uh, picnic, the, the company picnic, and his ex-wife was there. And she had decided that it was, that was going to be a problem. Guess what it was? And she, you know, we talked about it later. She said, you know, if I hadn't predetermined that, I would have probably been fine. But she had set herself up. She knew she was going to have a bad time. And guess what happened? She had a bad time. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because she knew. Unlearn things. And keep it fluid. You know, realize that if you turn it a little bit, it's different. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Oh look at it, there's a back to this. Oh, there's a side, there's a top, there's a bottom. You know, one of my favorite new concepts was how many sides does a cube have? And everybody will say six. I've learned that a cube has seven sides. The seventh side is the inside. Ponder that. As always, have a stupendous, amazing, spectacular day, Coco. Out.